Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. In this video tutorial, I'm very excited to be showing you guys the Thunderbird 3.0 beta. Uh, as you guys probably know, Mozilla Thunderbird is obviously from the company Mozilla, also who makes Firefox, and um, it is their email client. And um, up till now, Thunderbird has been pretty good, especially considering that it's free, but obviously the Outlook, uh, the favorite has still been Outlook, uh, Microsoft Outlook. So. Um, the 3.0 beta, however, I'm very excited to say, has a lot of added features that make it much more desirable to use. Um, I'm talking about, you know, just added UI features, just enhanced appearance and stuff like that. And um, it's quite nice. So we're going to open it up here. And let's take a look. Alright, so when you open up Thunderbird, this is the user interface that you get right here. I've got a theme installed right now that makes it this uh, beige -ish sort of color, but um, uh, overall it looks exactly the same minus the color and maybe these little icon changes, but everything's still in the same place. Um, as you can see, the folders over here are more better organized now, and um, just the overall design is much, much nicer. Um, something that I got into using as an email client was Postbox, which uh, was in beta but recently came out of beta, and now being out of beta it's not free and it's actually quite expensive, I believe like $30, and it's definitely not worth paying for. But luckily, right after that happened, Muscle Thunderbirds 3.0 Beta 4 came out, so this is what we're going to be looking at for the future, and it is much, much nicer. So I'm going to show you guys some new features that have been added. Um, like I was saying over here, the folders are a little bit different, uh, not a whole lot, but just the overall uh, look and design is a lot nicer. Um, something nice up here is that, um, like, when you click on something and say, uh, like, I love Gmail's feature to be able to archive things. And that's something I liked a lot about Postbox. But, um, you, and that was something you could never really do in Mozilla Thunderbird was archive something. I always had to just move it to an archive folder. But in Postbox, there was a button up here to do it. Well, now it's pretty much the same thing. Just click on here, and then I have it in my recent already, um, but you can just go to it real quick. And whatever you selected, you can just go and archive it and say, I want to archive it to KSMN Rules Archived. There it goes. It's just archived. So it's really, really easy and really easy to do that, which is a lot, lot nicer compared to what it used to be like. Um, as you can see, we've just got some quick buttons up here for, you know, refresh your mail, get new mail, write a quick message, will just pop up right here and you can type. Um, something nice is the signature thing, which I believe is increased in quality. I now have my uh, signature up here that looks pretty nice. Um, also, just your address book button, you can click on that. Um, something new also, I believe, are the um, support for add-ons, which is a lot nice. A lot more add-ons you can use. Um, like this one right here will allow you, me to when I'm in here and say I want to view a comment that someone wrote, so a comment post on one of my old videos, if I click on the comments button, instead of opening in Firefox, it will instead open right here, and I can go ahead and look through here and read the comments and even respond if I want to. So that's a very nice feature. That is an add-on. That add-on is called Thunder Browse right here. Um, the ones I have are Thunder Browse, uh, United States English Dictionary, so that I don't, so that it adds uh, more things to the dictionary and doesn't think that I'm typing things wrong when I'm not. Uh, those are the extensions for the theme I have right now. And then Adblock Plus is also available for Mozilla Thunderbird. So um, this is just like a quick overview of something very nice that you guys might want to check out. The link for the download will be in the description and this is what you can be looking forward to um, in Mozilla Thunderbird 3.0. So before you go ahead and buy that 2010 version of Microsoft Office Outlook, you might want to think about checking this out instead because you might like it just as well. So I uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, it's exciting to be back, at least for the time being. Um, every weekend, I think I'll be able to do it from now on. So uh, you guys can expect more videos. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. And if remember, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.